Meanwhile, a corruption scandal is gathering storm in Pakistan. In the eye of the storm is a close aide of the Pakistani Prime Minister, Asim Salim Bajwa. A retired three-star general in the Pakistan Army, a special assistant to Imran Khan on information and broadcasting and chairman of the China-Pakistani Economic Corridor, CPEC. But none of these titles matter anymore. Right now, almost every Pakistani is using one word to describe this man. Corrupt. Our story begins on Thursday. The Pakistani media began reporting on quote-unquote suspicious financial dealings of the Bajwa family. The report first appeared on Fact Focus, an investigative website. It talked about the growth of the Bajwa family's business empire and how it directly matched the political rise of this retired army general. And today, this is what happened. The website of the Pakistan Remittance Initiative, PRI, got hacked. A picture of Bajwa and his family was put up on the website. Written in bold letters was this. We will get the money back. It'll be quite a task, we say. Because the loot is worth millions of dollars. And I have the numbers. According to the report, it all began in the year 2002 when Asim Salim Bajwa joined General Musharraf's staff. By 2008, his family had established 53 franchises of a pizza company worth an estimated $16 million. Besides this, it had registered 19 companies in America, two in Pakistan and four in Canada. Then in 2009, Bajwa got promoted to the rank of a major general. By 2011, his family had launched 25 more franchises of the pizza company worth $7.5 million. In addition to this, they established five companies in the U.S. In 2012, Bajwa got elevated to director general of the media wing of the Pakistan army. In the four years that followed, the Bajwa family established 75 more franchises worth $22.5 million, 34 com companies in the U.S., three in Pakistan, six in the UAE. And this is in addition to commercial properties and two residential properties that were, that were bought for $3.1 million. Then in 2017, Bajwa got promoted as commander of the Southern Command of the Pakistan Army. And in the last three years, the Bajwa family has established 21 new franchises worth $6.3 million, 16 new companies in the U.S., 9 in Pakistan, 1 in the U.A.E., and it has bought six commercial and two residential properties worth $7.4 million. That is a lot of money. Asim Salim Bajwa must be really proud of his family's success. But he doesn't like talking about it. In his declaration of assets and liabilities signed in June as special assistant to the Pakistan Prime Minister, Bajwa declared an investment of just 18,000 US dollars in his wife's name. That is some 31 lakh Pakistani rupees. He also declared that he and his wife have no immovable property or any business capital held outside Pakistan. The fact is that Bajwa's wife is associated with or is a shareholder in at least 85 of these companies. How is he getting away with such blatant lies? Well, the website claims that the Securities and Exchange Commission of Pakistan is helping Bajwa with this cover-up. It says the commission has specifically removed data related to the Bajwa family empire from its official website. Has Asim Salim Bajwa responded to these accusations? He has, through a tweet. Allow me to quote. A malicious propaganda story published on an unknown site against me and my family is strongly rebutted. That's all. Well, you need facts to rebut accusations. And General Bajwa has not provided any. 